New York after his last start, Zach Wheeler wasn't sure if he would sport a Mets uniform again. With all of the trade rumors circulating and his value peaking, Wheeler was a hot commodity leading up to Tuesday's non-waiver trade deadline. New York decided to keep him, though, and the 28-year-old is looking more and more like a promising part of the Mets' future. Wheeler began his night on Saturday by striking out the site in the first inning. From there, he went seven dominant innings, giving up only three hits and striking out nine in a 3-0 win over the Braves at City Field. View full game coverage Jeff McNeil was stellar for the Mets offense. Using an unorthodox bat that does not have a knob, McNeil went 4 for 4 with the double. He also made several impressive plays at second base that kept Wheeler's hit count at 3. Video, ATL, at NIM, McNeil robs Camargo with a jumping catch The Mets took an early lead in the second inning after Todd Frazier was hit by a pitch and McNeil's double moved him to third Aimed Rosario dribbled the slow roller to the left of the pitcher's mound, and Frazier danced down the line, forcing Braves third baseman Johan Camargo to make a decision When he threw to first, Frazier ran home, crossing the plate with ease for the first run of the game Four straight singles from Michael Conforto, Frazier, McNeil, and Austin Jackson sparked a sixth-inning rally that tacked another Mets run onto the board Kevin Plodicky continued the sixth-inning success, lifting a sacrifice fly that brought in Frazier Video, ATL, at NIM, Jackson grounds an RBI infield single Aaron Fish is a reporter for MLB Com based in New York, 